ladies and gentlemen. This is Harish Rao with DCU Media. We're here at the Newport Beach International Film Festival. Opening night movie is Never Was, starring Sir Ian McKellen, Jessica Lang, and also Brittany Murphy. And here we got Ash Kumra. We're getting ready to go inside. Exciting event. We're looking forward to it. 2006 Newport Beach Film Festival. I'm here with Joe McGarvey, head of programming for the Newport Beach Film Festival. Now, when you're deciding on your film, what's the biggest factor that goes into you picking a film? Um, the story. I think the content is what really makes the film and really what um, the audience responds to, whether it be a feature or a documentary. Um, I think the, the story in, the term, in terms of feature or the content as far as the documentary is what really pulls people in. And I hear you have a lot of South Asian films this year, so what did you think of those? I do. Um, we, had, um, we had a great documentary called The Tsunami Diaries that um, covered the, tra the tragedy. Um, in, uh, it was in Indonesia, and they, they kind of went all over down there and um, kind of helped with the rescue effort. It was a group of surfers, a local surfers. Um, we also had a, a spotlight from Korea and a spotlight from Japan. Um, we also had um, uh, several Indian films that played very, very well. So we, we, we're happy to get such a diverse group of films. That's great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. My name is Guy Shahar, and I am a filmmaker. And you directed a wonderful film I hear called The Apologist? Yes. And I'm sorry. <laughs> now let's hear a little bit about this film. You want the truth? the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? I don't know if I can do it. Not with you standing in front of me like this. I'm feeling a little bit of performance anxiety. Um, no, The Apologist is a film about sincerity, about honesty, about trying to break through the bullshit of, you know, hello, how are you, and really make a connection with another human being. And it's funny that, you know, we're here at the Newport Beach closing night party, and it's as crowded as hell, and I shot my film in Times Square, which is as crowded as hell, and it's about being in New York, being in a place where you're so crowded, and so bumping up against people that you become numb to, to people. You start to ignore people and tune them out. And my film is about a gentleman who goes throughout his whole life bumping into people in a place like this, trying to get somewhere, trying to get ahead, but he sees people as obstacles. And so he bumps into people and says he's sorry, but he doesn't really mean it. Until he meets this one very attractive woman. Oh, of course the attractive woman always comes into play. Okay, I see where this is going. He meets an attractive woman, much like this guy, and he bumps into her, he completely tramples her, and she refuses to accept his bullshit apology. She wants a real apology. And this is foreign to him. He just wants the acceptance so he can move on with his life. But what she wants is a real genuine apology. So he becomes obsessed trying to get her apology. He tries all these different techniques. He tries manipulating her. He tries, you know, he tries everything. Nothing works. Until she finally makes him realize that his apologies up until now have been bullshit. And he understands that he hurt her. That's when he offers his first genuine apology of his life. And so, you know, she helps him come to a realization about himself. And all that happens in seven minutes. That sounds fabulous. Especially living in L.A. and New York with all the assholes who think that they can just do whatever they want. So I commend you on making a film about being true and honest with your apology. Well, thank you very much, Laura. I'm here with Lee Steinberg, and we're going to talk to him about his role in the Newport Beach Film Festival. So we know you're a spectacular sports agent. That's already a given. But what made you decide to get involved with such a thing as a film festival? Well, I've always felt that Newport Beach can be a very special place in terms of art, culture, and to try to create a community here where we can gather the best and brightest and allow a cultural flowering, if you will, to emerge here amidst all the natural beauty. It allows 
an environment which is very exciting and stimulating, I think, for everybody to take part in. And some seven years ago, I read an article in Daily Pilot that said that the film festival was about to become extinct. And I thought, "Uh uh-oh, we can't let that happen. So I called up Greg Swank and said, what will it take to allow the festival to continue? And I did the easy part. I just wrote a check. He has done the hard part, and the volunteers and programmers, all of them have just been sensational. And here we are, seven years later, with 300 films. Last year, Crash won the Academy Award, and who knows which of these films will win it next year. 600 people here tonight. Are you surprised with the growth, or did you expect it from the beginning? Well, we actually probably have about 35,000 people who have come this week, and to see the films, to partake in the parties, and um, it's really created a environment um, where people who love films and love this kind of uh, culture and artistic environment to get together and um, bond, make new friendships, uh, and it, uh, I mean, it's Thursday night, and this place is popping. It is. And now, we are a South Asian website, so how important do you think it is to have diversity in films at a festival? I think very important, and if you look at some of these documentaries, they pinpoint critically important issues, whether it's the environment, social issues, problems with uh, AIDS or um, Africa, ethnic cleansing, and it brings people's attention to real difficulties and can can rouse them to activism and action, and that plays, I think, a critically important uh, role in allowing film to highlight the human condition. All right, one last thing. You got any draft predictions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Houston is going to kick off the draft taking uh, the local living highlight reel, Reggie Bush, and uh, New Orleans will take the Brickashaw Ferguson. That brings the draft to Tennessee, and I think they're fighting internally over whether to take Texas quarterback Vince Young or Matt Leinart, and right now they're leaning a little bit to, um, to Vince Young, so... There's your one, two, three handicap for Saturday morning. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Todd, who is the co-founder and director of marketing for the Newport Beach Film Festival. So when you decided to start this thing, what was the biggest thing for you that compelled you to start a film festival in Newport Beach? Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, I'm actually born and raised here in Orange County, and I was one of those guys that was either driving to San Diego or to L.A. to do events. And... Uh, I decided, you know what, rather than uh, complain about it, why not do something here in Orange County? So I got together with Greg Schwank, and we saw the need and the, and the void, and, and we uh, said, hey, what do you got to do? You got to get some films and an audience to see them. So. How much has it grown from the first year to today? Explain the transformation, because today, tonight was amazing. You know, it's, uh, it's one of those be careful for what you wish for. Um, we started off very small. We, um, we had about uh, 75 films. Now we have over 350 films from 40 countries. It uh, looks like we're going to have a crowd this year of over 35,000 people. And um, it's just grown tremendously, and we, we're, 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 we're so excited about it. And how important do you think it is to have diversity in films at a festival? Oh, it's extremely important. One of the things that we... Um, really value is, is uh, reflecting the diversity here in Orange County. I mean, Orange County isn't just a homogenous county. We've, we've got an ex- incredibly diverse county with a, a, a significant Latino population, a significant Asian population, and many others. And we find programming uh, the diversity and uh, as a reflection of our community um, is very successful, and we see the support from the community as a result. Now let's talk about the movie tonight, because I thought it was fabulous. What were your thoughts on it? Oh, I, you know what? I, I'm a huge Ed Norton fan. I mean, how could you complain? Um, this, this film, um, we're so excited with The Illusionist, it's the first time it's played since Sundance. And so it's a huge coup for us to get this film. I'm very happy. Was anyone nervous that only one person had seen the film before it came here? 
No, no. We knew. We knew. Our programming staff, we're, we're very proud of. We know that when they pick something, it's going to be good. You should be. It was a great film. Thank you so much for your time. Nice Thanks so to much meet for you. coming out. Appreciate it.